guys, it's Riley from Wackadoodle Kids, and today we will be doing a read with me because I just thought it would be a fun and active video for little kids to see me reading and to learn and see the book of how to read. And I'm really excited to do a new YouTube video. I have not done one in a very long time. And today we will read it, be reading, if you ever want to... If you ever want to bring an alligator to school, don't, but you parse sled. And let's just get started. If you ever want to bring an alligator to school, no. If your teacher tells you to bring something from nature for show and tell, she means a hollow stick or a bird's nest or some, some sparkly rocks. She does not want you to bring an alligator. If you bring an alligator anyway, she'll tell you that alligators are trouble. You tell her that it's okay and that you know a lot about alligators. This alligator will be quiet and good and he won't eat anybody. Cross your heart. But during spelling, your teacher's just laughing. This is because the alligator will be showing you funny pictures. <gasps> oh no! Your teacher will write your name on the board. Magnolia. 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 And now you will have to stand last in line for lunch. You take away, you'll take away the crayons and tell the alligator to be quiet and wait for show and tell. Then during art, the airplane will fly across the room. Flat. <laughs> this is because the alligator will be showing you origami. Your teacher will draw a check by your name. And now you have to stay in from recess. You'll take away You'll take away the paper and order the alligator to be good and wait for show and tell. During math, you'll notice the alligator is hungry. Your alligator, you give the alligator three pieces of your favorite gum. And give and beg him not to eat anyone and for Pete's sake to wait for show and tell. The good thing is that you'll stop, you'll stop him from eating any kids. The bad thing is that the alligator will smack and swirl the gum. Twirl. And twirl the gum. I'm helping you. I know. I like it though. And your teacher will notice then, she'll draw two more checks by your name and underline. Now, you'll have to go to the principal's office after school. During lunch, you won't even get to eat your egg and cheese sandwich because somebody will gobble up every but, everything but the crust. How do you think she feels right now? Because <laughs> I have the same thing over there and at home. And behind me. I was holding the camera. Ha 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 ha. And you notice her faces are changing in the parts of the story. So she was happy and she looked a little confused and, and she was begging and angry and now how do you think she feels like she can't enjoy her lunch she feels sad so let's read and see how much it goes but now of course you wish you'd brought a whole stick or a bird's nest or sparkly rocks for show and tell instead of an alligator but now you'd rather have some dirt than an alligator you will wish this alligator would just Go home! Well, here's what I do. I would do if, if, I, were if I were you. First, at show and tell, you sit quietly and learn about health sticks. 
and Bird's Nest and Sparkly Rocks. Then it'll be your turn. You tell how alligators are super big. Wow, we 42 feet tall. Boom, boom. And how alligators have over 74 super sharp teeth. And how alligators are super tough. In fact, they're strong and they're tough and they aren't scared of anything except other alligators and humans. And humans. <laughs> now, why do you think alligators are afraid of onions? Humans. <laughs> because for millions of years, alligators and crocodiles have been, people have been cutting off tails for the meat inside of them. And there aren't many of them left. It's Alex downstairs. And um, so there's for millions of years. And not mine is screaming. And for millions of years, they they have been cutting, getting cut off tails, and the meat have inside of them have been gone. So let's just continue reading the story. Booga booga ka! Your teacher will be impressed. You might not even have to go to the principal's office for all the mischief that that day. A B C D E F G H. Wait, But then again, you might have to. Yeah, if you ever want to bring an alligator to school, they're trouble. And that's the end. <laughs> well, could the guy who the little yeah. kid goes to open up his locker and what does he find in there? Boom! An alligator! Yeah. Um, and that is the end of Elisa Parsley. If you ever want to bring an alligator to school, don't. And here is a picture of, of her. So that's Elise Parsley. And, um,. I hope you guys enjoyed the story and check out our other free following videos of Amazing Floyd and like like our channel. Bye!